Resident Evil Zero. I'm here today for one reason and one reason only. I've already done my review on Resident Evil Zero. I've already done my long play. This is what is the best room in Resident Evil Zero. Don't go away. A lot of the classic tank control Resident Evils is based off of your environment slash atmosphere. Seriously, if you haven't played them, go back and play them. They're thick with atmospheric horror. Individual rooms mean a lot and they can have incredible character to them. So what is my favorite room? Well, if you've seen my review, you would know that I'm a huge fan of the train. Even though you only spend 10% there, 90% of my memory is the train. Surprisingly, my favorite room is not on the train. I thought about some of the better rooms on there personally for me that I like. The dog kennel room, I thought that was pretty cool. The hunting gun room, again, good, but not the best. I should note at this point that the criteria for the best slash my favorite room in the game is completely non-existent. There's no metric value I could put to my favorite room where a scale of one to 10 and based off of scientific facts and evidence, it's just quite honestly a gut feeling of what room it is. My favorite room isn't in the mansion as well. Again, I thought about the kitchen area. That was a close one. I was like, you know, maybe my favorite room is the kitchen, but I just thought it wasn't. Honestly, probably the closest to beating out my number one was the church. Not the inside of the church, the outside of the church. This technically isn't really a room, so I guess it's kind of disqualified, but walking around the outside of the church, not the front of the church, but the side of the church in the back, something about it was pretty damn cool. Honestly, oh. my favorite room is in the labs. Now the rooms don't really have a name, but to put a name on it, I would have to go to the soundtrack. Marcus's Memories. This is a cool room. Woman in love with a dead man. So why is this my favorite room? Honestly, it comes down to the reason why I like save rooms. It makes you feel covered from the horror that is Resident Evil. You walk into that save room, zombies can't enter it. Nemesis, the tyrant, anything that's following you, the chainsaw man, they can't enter it. It is a complete room where you can go put your back against the wall and slide down onto your knees and just breathe for a moment and think, okay, I got a minute here. Now, Marcus's memories technically isn't a save room. There was no zombies in there, but I still had that same feeling. The music is phenomenal. The room setting is just so cool. I love the fish tank. There's a lot of little things you can look around and feel ominous about and all the description of everything you look at. And in a way, I feel like a lot of the beginning of Resident Evil started in this room. This is what I feel like where Dr. Marcus did a lot of his work. And for all the unknown reasons that are unexplainable to me, altogether you put that with what I have explained and you have my favorite room in Resident Evil Zero right here. Love this room. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here. I, this is probably my favorite room in the game. Everyone listen to this. So that's it. Another Resident Evil Zero video knocked out. More importantly, what is your favorite room? I've asked this question to other people who play Resident Evil and it takes them a long time to answer because it's honestly a very rare question. Nobody ever asks, what's your favorite room? They always ask, favorite boss, favorite character, favorite gun, I don't know, favorite game. What about what's your favorite room? Now, I know in Resident Evil 0, 1, 2, and pretty much every Resident Evil out there, the rooms, there are so many. So to pick one is very hard. Took me a while to figure it out, but Marcus's memories really win it out for me. But 
that's pretty much it. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out. Okay. Uh, so good. More bottles, man. What is up? I know what you're thinking. You're only here for the bonus Easter egg soundtrack I put in at the end of every video. But did you also know I have a donation page under Buy Me A Coffee? Donate whatever you want to my channel and I'll put half that back to an environmental charity. So that's that. Enjoy the music. Peace out.